If you are watching this video, you might be one of the 95 million Europeans that are at risk of poverty and social exclusion. The UN estimates that over 20 million European workers are living on the edge of poverty. They earn salaries, but their income is not enough to meet rising living costs for food, housing, or heating. So, how is it possible to live at risk of poverty and social exclusion in the EU when you have a job? The answer is simple. Inequality. Europeans are more unequal today than they were four decades ago. Between 1980 and 2017, the wealth of the top 1% grew more than twice as fast as the bottom 50%. On top of this, the EU has failed to meet its 2020 target of lifting 20 million citizens out of poverty. Close to 20 million children, representing a quarter of all EU children, are at risk of poverty today. And the COVID-19 pandemic has made things worse for the vast majority of Europeans. Has it been like this for every European? Actually, no. There is a tiny group that is doing rather well. Since the COVID-19 pandemic began, a new billionaire has been created every 26 hours. And the first year of the pandemic alone, Europe's billionaires grew $1 trillion richer. So, while the numbers of working poor grow throughout Europe, the billionaire class is cashing in. And they do it while fueling the climate emergency, dodging taxes, and exploiting workers. 20 of the richest billionaires are estimated, on average, to be emitting up to 8,000 times more carbon than the billion poorest people. It's not fair, is it? This extraordinary wealth contrasts starkly with the growing difficulties facing working families. Are these staggering inequalities an accident? Of course not. They've been carefully designed. Workers' exploitation is a pillar of an economic system that puts shareholder value before social rights, in pursuit of efficiency and productivity, turning workers into tools to achieve profit. Billionaires have used their wealth to exert economic and political power to scuttle legislation protecting workers, to push their arguments in the media, to operate above the law. Many have even funded far-right politicians and the politics of hate. Overall, they wield unfettered power over vital sectors of the economy. So much so that governments continue to promote the dogma of privatization, defunding and shrinking our public systems, and enabling massive tax dodging by the elite, starving public coffers of trillions of euros. The rise of the billionaire class is a sign of economic failure. They are a threat to democracy. It is time to abolish billionaires. We need a wealth tax, not just on capital gains, but on the stock holdings of billionaires. We need more ambitious corporate taxation, and we need a serious fight against tax dodging. The trillions raised could go to strengthening public systems, more robust social safety nets, health, and education. But the EU is far from this path. EU policies have helped perpetuate this unjust system of inequalities, working hand in hand with big businesses and their billionaire owners and against the rights and interests of workers and citizens. Workers are paying the price, with low salaries and precarious jobs, helping to normalize the existence of the working poor in society. This is not how things should be. Workers' struggles have given us rights that are now threatened. They are key to defending economic justice. They have led historic revolutions, and the staggering rise in inequalities calls for one in our times. Workers everywhere are already organizing and resisting. They are fighting back. Transnational networks have shown the potential to shift power to claim economic and social justice for all. Initiatives such as Make Amazon Pay are bringing together trade unions and civil society from all over the world to fight labor exploitation, tax dodging, and the harm done to local communities and their environment. Exposing ties between EU governments and economic elites goes hand in hand with mobilizing, organizing, and collective action. The left in the European Parliament stands with workers in the fight for social justice.